In this short tutorial video, I'd like to explain a method of compression data which is called LJW encoding. Here we go. Okay, here I have a text file. Yeah, I write it. When Madam Camilla King here the frame had never be the same again yeah I'll count this altar for you we'll count the space too remember it space this is total have 68 character how I know it because I have counted before okay okay guys here I have the text the before text and then I will input it in this table one by one this is the step one two three four etc and then input the chart one by one in the example double use h e n etc and then this is the temporary plus the chart the input chart and then we will check it in the dictionary which is 0 to 255 is checked in the S key and then this is the temporary and then this is the dictionary and the output of the compression file here we go first you write it and then input the W and then the temporary is currently 0 and then we write it W this is of course temporarily plus W and then we check it in the dictionary if it is exists in ASCII right I have said that the first entry we will check in the ASCII not in the dictionary okay is W exists in the dictionary in the S key? Of course, yes. In the S key, and then we write it. Okay. Then we write the temporary is W itself because it it is exists in the S key. We write the dictionary is none and the output is none okay next in the second step H and put it in this input chart table and then write the temporary W plus H W H you see and then we check it again if it is exists in the dictionary we write it axis but no but if it's not exit we write none okay the next is the third step sorry this is w not h the third is e and then you write the temporary plus e 
temporary is H, char is E. Check in the dictionary, no. Then write the temporary E. And then write the new dictionary H E. Of course, this is start from two five six because this is zero to two five five. And then the output is H. The fourth and then write the temporary plus n e n in the dictionary exists oh no then the temporary is n new dictionary e n and then the output is e fifth space this is space for you temporary plus space and space access in the dictionary oh no and then the temporary is space the di new dictionary and the output is n okay until this step I'll speed up for you speed up for you because I think this is too long for us okay in this 15 step this is the different because the temporary was char is exists in the dictionary yeah here we go we input the m and then the temporary is a the char is m in the dictionary yes it is 264 am we write it yes 264 and then the temporary is am the dictionary is none the output is none And then we will see the 16 step. It's I. And then the temporary is AM. The char is I. Okay. Take it in dictionary. No. It is not axis. And then the temporary is I. The dictionary is. 269 is A and I and then the output is AM and then is 264 you write it 264 in here okay This is the last third step. M and then write the temporary A, the char M, the dictionary is. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> is the 264. Then the temporary is AM, dictionary num, then 
24 right it e temporary is a n the char is e the dictionary is not access and then this is temporary but the new dictionary 
and then this is the output W H A and space M A D A M E space C two six four I L L A Two six seven two six four two six six two five seven R two six six T two five seven space F R Two seven five space H two six two space N E C E R never space and then we can count the total bit of the before compression text file and the result of the compression text file and this is it we have 68 car total of this current text file and we can multiple it with 8 bit equals 544 bit and then the output file have 41 character and we multiple it equals 408 bit we can see this is the result 68 and 51 we have the compression right okay and we can count the ratio of the compression this is it the total bit and the total bit of the output file we have 1.33 the result okay